Hi, welcome back to the top five stories of the week. I'm Daily Herald Managing Editor, Harry Brickson. Story number five, they've got some more doses of the flu vaccine in. These are the flu mist nasal vaccines. They're for folks between 2 and 59, for the healthier folks among us. Um, for anyone who is immunocompromised at all, they still have the needles for you, so get your flu shot. Number four, yikes. If you're at the rink on Sunday night, you saw the Raiders uh, lose by a touchdown to the Swift Current Broncos. It was a great game for them. They gave up three goals the first dozen shots. A couple of them uh, I'm sure that Nick McBride wishes he had back. Anyway, they're kind of tumbling right now, but uh, you have to think they have the talent still to uh, make a better run. Story number three, Saskatchewan Hall of Fame. They announced some of their newest members. Uh, boy, it's a good group. Uh, it's just three years old, the Hockey Hall of Fame. They made the announcement here in PA. In the builders category are some former NHLers. We have Brian Propp, we have Brad Freeman, Johnny Gotsley, Jim Nielsen, Emil Francis. We've got some Raider connections with Terry Simpson. And we have the 81-82 Raiders who captured the fourth and final Centennial Cup prior to joining the Western Hockey League. Story number two is kind of a neat one. We got a tip from a family member that a British actress named Alexandra Bastido had passed away. Um, her first cousin, um, whose mother <laughs> was a PA older woman, it, it's kind of convoluted the family end of things. Anyway, let's just put it this way. She used to come here. Uh, she spent time in PA. Uh, she was on some TV series. She was in a Cold War spy film called 13 Frightened Girls, which apparently has a big following. And uh, if you're a fan of the British rock act, The Smiths, uh, she was on the cover of their album Rank in 1988. Top story of the week. Uh, infant coming back from the Philippines brought back the measles. Uh, too young to immunize, uh, apparently flew into Vancouver, then flew to Calgary, flew to Regina, and brought the measles back. So uh, folk, the good folks uh, in the health community just put the word out, hey, if you're on these flights, you could have been exposed to the measles virus. Uh, you might remember that about a year ago we had a problem here in town. Uh, we got through. Anyway, those are our top five stories of the week this week. You know where to find us all around town with our retail partners. Uh, we're everywhere on the net. We're on Facebook. We're on Twitter. But remember, you're Prince Albert Daily Herald. On paper, like a newspaper should be. See you next week.